Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to speak to you today in my capacity as Chair of UN Water. This symposium is timely as we set about delivering on our commitments to achieve SDG 6 and all of the other goals of the 2030 Agenda. As you know, UN Water aims to help UN Member States reach water and sanitation related goals by improving UN system-wide coordination. You may recall that it was tasked with coordinating the Water for Life Decade for Action established under Tajikistan's leadership and that decade was followed by the Millennium Development Goals which are now succeeded by the 2030 Agenda. The decade and the MDG period saw considerable progress in raising awareness of the importance of water and sanitation and on the need for cooperation at all levels, including across national borders and within the UN system itself. Access to water and sanitation also increased significantly. From 1990 to the end of 2015, it's estimated that 2.6 billion people gained access to improved drinking water and 2.1 billion people to improve sanitation. That's real progress, but not enough because too many are still deprived of access to safe drinking water and to ad adequate sanitation. Too many are still left behind. We see ecosystems that are too degraded, including through pollution caused by untreated wastewater and agricultural runoff to provide safe drinking water. And extreme events linked to climate change are producing either too much water in the form of floods or too little water in the form of droughts. SDG 6 addresses these problems and raises the bar significantly compared to the MDGs. It calls for ensuring safe and sustainable access to water and sanitation for all by managing the entire water cycle in a holistic way. It calls for water withdrawals to be kept in balance with supply by increasing water recycling and water use efficiency. This means restoring water-related ecosystems and promoting transboundary water cooperation and integrated water resources management. If achieved, such measures will go a long way towards underpinning the entire 2030 agenda and ensuring dignity and livelihoods for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the American statesman, philosopher and inventor Benjamin Franklin once famously said that when the well is dry, we know the worth of water. Let us not wait until the well runs dry before we know what our water is worth. Let's all act now and act together to ensure water and sanitation access for everyone in the world. Let us put ourselves on a sustainable path where the volume of fresh water can keep up with our growing and urbanizing populations and where the world's water resources can meet our competing needs for energy and for food. I wish you a successful symposium as you tackle these important challenges.